Hi everyone and welcome to another Civilization 5 game. So, we'll be playing with the VP mod again, but with a slightly different setup than previously. And I decided to use a modded sieve this time. Now, this is a sieve made specifically for Vox Populi, which means it will be balanced with VP. And it's Sumer. They get plus 45 food and production when founding cities, scaling with era, and their specialists produce plus one production and consume one less food. So their specialists will be really nice. Their unique unit is the Vulture, which replaces the Warrior, but he has higher combat strength, begins with some extra experience, ignores terrain when on river tiles, and gets plus 25% combat strength versus unmounted melee units. And none of these promotions are lost on upgrade, so that's going to be quite nice. We'll probably want to build as many Vultures as possible. We'll see about that. And their unique building is the Ziggurat, which replaces the temple, except you can build it much earlier. And it gains a random bonus for each Ziggurat completed. It gets plus one science compared to the temple, and plus one gold and plus one culture to wine incense and amber. So, I think that's that. As for advanced setup, we will actually be playing on continents. I very rarely play on continents map for various reasons, but we can do one game on continents, why not? I haven't played on that map in like years at this point. And I'll go with standard game pace this time, because I would like this game to be a little bit faster than the previous one. And all the AIs are random, but I decided to add Bramcam Trollface and Gandhi to the game. And I also disabled the entire event system. I think it will be better without that. Especially without bad events and constant pestilence spam. Well, in any case, let's get started, shall we? So, let's check out our starting location. We got Lapis Lazuli and Perfume. Okay. Could have been better, but I suppose a heal luxury resource is not too bad. Now, before we decide where to settle, let's maybe move. I would say in this direction, since we want to settle on the river. Okay, we could have a coastal capital. That's probably worth it. Yeah, I would say that's definitely worth it, and we'll only have to delay the city by one turn. Works for me, let's do that then. Pantheon founded, right, that's by India. That's their unique ability, basically. And here's our capital. So, let's work the floodplain right away. The only downside is going to be low production initially. We just need to either get more gold to buy the forest, or just have our border expand on its own. Anyway, we can actually get a vulture in one turn. Alright, let's do that. We want as many of these guys as possible, because they will keep their unique promotions after we upgrade them. As for research, let's see. Yeah, let's get animal husbandry. Hopefully we'll have some sheep, horses or cattle in range. Sounds good to me. And let's go meet some of our neighbors. See who they are going to be. Onwards. Oh yeah, what's the monopoly bonus? Plus free gold from resource tiles, that's not too bad. And plus 25% Golden Age length, and plus 2 Golden Age points from resource tiles. Yeah, that's not too bad. And since we start with extra experience on Vultures, we can grab the promotion. Let's get Shock. One of their unique promotions I really like is the first Emperor one. Not only we do extra damage versus unmounted melee units, we will also take reduced damage from cities. That's going to be really nice for sieges. And we keep that promotion through upgrades. Anyway... Let's grab a shrine. Because since our unique building replaces the temple, and we can build it much, much earlier than the temple, there's a good chance we'll be able to get a religion. I will almost certainly try. That will be one of our initial goals, to get a religion. So, ruins. We got plus 30 production, okay, that is quite useful. That will speed up the shrine. And we got trapping. Nice one. Good start so far. 
Don't tell me this is going to be an island. It should be the continent. I hope. <laughs> I don't really want to start on my own island. That would be pretty bad. We got a city state. Alright then. That's Antwerp. So, a mercantile city state. That will be quite useful. Let's move on. Which tiles are we working? Yeah, we need some extra gold. Literally one more turn. There, now we can buy the tile. I normally wouldn't buy just a plain forest tile, but we need that hammer. So, I'm going to grab it. Let's work one flood plane, the perfume because of the gold, and the forest. That will be a decent balance. Works for me. Here's another ruin, good. That probably means we don't have a neighbor too close to us, because he would have looted it by now. One more population, good. Yeah, don't tell me this is an island. That's starting to look increasingly more likely. Or maybe it's a continent with a really weird shape. Here's another city-state. Yeah, it's starting to look like we might have started on our own island. Also, let's pick up Treasure Hunter. Although, if this is an island, then we probably don't want Treasure Hunter. I don't know about that, but okay, fine, let's pick it up. We might still run into another ruin or two. I'm really hoping this is not an island. But it seems like it is. Well, that means we'll have to expand beyond the island very quickly. In any case, that also probably means we don't have to rush the settler. Because it's not like our neighbor is going to steal a city location when there is no neighbor. So let's grab that monument to get the culture. And let's see if we can find anything else. Okay, maybe it's not an island after all. It might be the continent with a really weird shape. With the city-state blocking the choke point. That would be really nice if Hong Kong is actually blocking the choke point. There's animal husbandry. Okay, we got a cattle, but it's just outside of our range. Here's another city-state. Yeah, looks like we are on the continent after all. I was a little bit worried for a moment. As for our next research, we should probably grab mining, if only to connect the luxury. But I also want Calendar ASAP to get our unique building. But we will obviously need mining. Especially with the low production that we have in our capital. Here's another ruin. So that means no AI nearby. He would have looted it by now. We still haven't met anyone. Okay, plus 30 production, nice. That's perfect. Very nice start so far. We are already up to 5. Let's check demographics. We are actually number 1 in population. That obviously won't last very long, but hey. It's nice to see. Let's kill that barbarian. Oh, and we found a natural wonder. Okay, we might be able to grab that. We should be able to grab that. It's too far away from the city-state. Yeah, it's four tiles away from the city-state. That might even be our second city. Probably the best. So, let's keep moving. I don't really want to fight this guy. I'd rather keep exploring. So, back to our capital. We should definitely grab a worker. Yep, that's a no-brainer. And then we can get the settler. We can buy one more forest. For that extra hammer. Or we can buy the lapis lazuli. And work that. It's tempting. If we remove two food, the city will still grow nicely. Okay, let's buy that. That will speed up the worker. And the city is still getting 5.2 food per turn. Let's go find some actual AIs, shall we? 
This is going to be a pretty nice city location. We got some horses. We are going to need those sooner or later. And we should be pretty safe from any invasions. Naval invasions will probably be the only ones we'll have to worry about. Oh, come on! It is an island after all! Well then, at least we have some extra space. We can support like five cities easily. Yeah, it's not all bad. So here's the other natural wonder tile. I might have to settle on top of the cow. Which means we'll be slightly out of range of the horses. Yeah, we'll have to pick between the horses and one of the natural wonder tiles. We can get just one and the horses, or skip the horses and get both. It's not really worth settling a city on this side. That's actually too close to the city-state anyway. I mean, one tile of the Great Barrier Reef is still better than nothing. And if we don't grab the horses, Belgrade eventually will. Alright, next. So, since we are on an island after all, that probably means we'll need some naval techs early on. Or at least earlier than I would usually research them. Definitely, we'll need sailing pretty quickly. But we definitely need calendar ASAP. So we'll be working on that. Pottery, the wheel, calendar, and then probably fishing and sailing. Like this. Yeah, that's the rough plan, at least for now. I might change it later. But that's what we're going with. The meat. There's mining. Alright then. So, nothing else left to explore, basically. We can check if there's a land bridge to the west, near Antwerp. Probably not, but it's worth checking. It's not like our scout has anything better to do anyway. He most certainly does not. We are still number one in population. Again, that won't last forever, but it's nice to see. Alright. And once we finish that worker, we'll let the city to grow to six and then get started on the settler. Because we still want a religion and we'll need a few cities with ziggurats to get that. And since our vulture doesn't have anything better to do, we can go fight some barbarians. Get rid of the camps. Yep, this is an island. 100% confirmed now. Alright. There's Stonehenge. Okay then, attack that guy. We might be able to kill him without recovering our health. Yeah, we don't have the bonus against barbarians. There's the worker, we'll work the lapis lazuli first. Mostly for the production actually, not even for the luxury. And next up we can start an archer. Uh, actually no, a vulture. And we'll switch to the settler. As for our social policies, well, there's no point going for authority, because while authority is still decent for the production bonuses, for example, we really need to go to war early to maximize the benefit of authority. I don't think I really want progress when we are on an island, because we obviously won't be able to start too many cities. I think tradition might make the most sense. I'm actually not a huge fan of tradition with Vox Populi, but it seems to make the most sense here. It will make our capital city much better. Okay, let's go with tradition. That seems to make the most sense with art start. So there we go. That immediately gives us plus three food, plus one culture, and plus two population in our capital. So that's nice. And plus one culture in the capital for every two citizens, as well as plus 5% growth in all cities. So now we are at 7 population. Very nice. What are we working? Uh, mostly useful things, maybe with the exception of that coastal tile. Two more turns and our border will expand. And we can maybe consider grabbing another lapis lazuli to the east. Assuming it will expand in this direction. 
it might also expand here. In which case, we could buy the perfume. Yep. Alright then, oh hi. Well, I can kill this dude, but I might get killed myself if I do that. Alright, let's kill him. We should be fine with our bonus against barbarians. I'll just have to fortify immediately after. Oh, he's fortified himself. Alright. Shock to and let's fortify. We can send the Pathfinder for the flanking bonus, if nothing else. And I'm going to let that Vulture finish. We might actually need him against Barbarians. And it's not like delaying the Settler by two turns will do anything when we know we are on an island. So there he is. And we can grab a Pantheon. Let's see what's available. Let's check what's gone. These are gone. God of the Sun, God King and Goddess of Festivals. Right, Settler. I'm not waiting for 8 population. Let's see what we can get. Plus one faith for every free citizens in the city, plus one culture from councils, plus two science if you have at least one specialist in the city. And no, I don't think I want that. Well, I mean, it would be an option, but I think I'll pass. What actually makes sense in here? Plus on faith and gold from mines on improved resources. And plus on faith from iron. Plus one production for every three citizens in the city. That wouldn't be terrible, but also not amazing. God of all creation. Well, that's always an option, but I don't think I want that now. Plus on faith for every 20 gold per turn you produce. Plus to faith and gold in cities with city connection. No, we don't want that. Quarries and stoneworks? No. God of the Expanse? Probably not. At least I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Plus on culture in the city per two worked planes or two worked grassland tiles without hills or features? No. God of the sea? We don't really have any atolls at all. We will have two fishing boats in range. So that would be an option. Plus on faith and plus on production. How much would our other cities benefit from that? Well, there's a fish over here, there's one here, over there. Well, it's an option, I suppose. I don't think it would be amazing, but it's an option. And also plus free food in coastal cities. And every city we'll be starting will be coastal, no exceptions. It just doesn't make any sense building non-coastal cities on an island. I might actually go for that one. Okay, what else? Plus on faith, culture, gold and food from town now. God of War. Yeah, we don't need God of War. Yes, it's nice, but not in these circumstances. Plus to faith from palace and world wonders. No. Plus to food and faith from shrines, water mills and wells. No. 15 faith, 10 golden age points and 5 gold every time a citizen is born. Probably not, although it would work. Goddess of nature, plus on faith, gold and food for every two mountains? No. We don't want goddess of protection either. There are no lakes. There's some forests and jungles, but I don't think goddess of renewal would make a whole lot of sense. Plus on faith and culture for every two jungle or two forest tiles worked by the city. We are working two forest tiles right now, so that would be instant plus on faith and culture, but I think I prefer the sea bonus, god of the sea. So anything else that would make sense? Probably not. Goddess of wisdom is always an option for extra science. That is actually a pretty nice one. 
I'm almost tempted to pick that up instead. Because he might actually have some science problems. Because he don't have any trading partners. I can't send a caravan to my neighbor to generate some extra science. It might actually make more sense to pick up Goddess of Wisdom right now. As much as I like the idea of God of the Sea. Especially since Goddess of Wisdom is still available, AI tends to snatch that one early. From my experience. We always also have Spirit of the Desert. I mean, we started with multiple desert tiles around us. That's plus on faith production and gold from desert tiles. Oh yeah, but with resources, so no. You know what, let's get Goddess of Wisdom. So plus one faith for every 15 science per turn. Capping at plus 25 faith, plus one science, plus one faith and golden age points in every city. It used to be better than this, but I'll take it. Okay, I'll take it. It will be useful early on. Alright then. We just need to get that 15 science. Or 30, or 45. <laughs> the more the better, obviously. So now we wait for the settler. And for our resource improvements. There's still one more barbarian come to the north. Let's go get rid of that. We'll send both vultures. It's not like we really need them around here. And here's our first policy. Do we want justice first? Or sovereignty? Culture cost of tiles reduced by 25% exponentially in all cities. Court chapel built in the capital. One artist specialist, one great work of art. Plus free fate. Yeah, we want that fate right away. So that makes more sense than justice. Here you go. And I might actually start working that slot right away, yeah. We are working it automatically, but let's assign it manually. Like this. And let's change some of these assignments. We don't want to work the stone. Yeah, the jungle. This actually looks fine now. Yep, looks fine to me. Carry on. Seven turns to finish the settler. So, let's go back into our territory to heal up. And then we can go kill more barbarians to the north. We got another forest, good. I don't think we can speed up the settler anymore. Nope, we cannot. It's going to be six tiles regardless. We might also need an escort for him. The Pathfinder can probably do that. It's mostly in case a barbarian camp spawns on the way. While we're traveling. So, there's the Lapis Lazuli. We can't build a quarry just yet. So, let's get some farms. Yep, 12 turns to get Kalendar. So then we can get started on the Ziggurat right away. We are already getting plus 6 fate. Here's another Pantheon. Alright then, God of Commerce. You will heal up. And you know what, one Vulture can probably deal with this. We'll find out. Pyramids, alright then. Three more turns. And I'm going to get... Oh yeah, we do have some barbarians over there. Right. We'll send the other vulture once he's at full health. And I was going to say, I'm going to grab the horses. Instead of the second natural wonder tile. It is a tough decision, but we are going to need horses. We can always sell them, if nothing else. But we'll need them for units. There aren't that many on this island. We only really got one other source to the north, which is only plus two. So there's the settler. And another policy, that's going to be justice. Cities gain plus on production, and cities with a garrison gain plus 50% ranged strength. And we get royal guardhouse, which will give us an engineer. And more production. Okay then, so... Do you want to work that engineer right away? Yeah, maybe, instead of the Lapis Lazuli. Here, we'll miss out on some gold, but we'll get more production and we'll start accumulating great engineer points. 
that will be quite useful. Next up, let's get the council, that makes the most sense, especially since we need more science for the faith bonus to kick in. Now, I could swap this guy to get more gold, which would then allow us to rush some buildings. That probably makes more sense right now. We got 14 production. It won't delay the council, so I definitely prefer the gold. Six turns to finish the calendar. And then we'll need sailing to be able to find some AIs. Because I don't want to go too long without meeting anyone at all. We'll need some trading partners, if nothing else, with cargo ships. Hopefully they won't be too far away. We'll find out. So, what about you? Let's get one more farm. Yep. And kill this fella. Right, we'll have to go through Hong Kong. It will be a little bit faster if we just go through their territory. It doesn't matter too much. Here, 20 gold. And we are up to 8 population. We are ranked 2 right now. Let's check the assignment. So, 17 production if we go like this. Uh, I think I prefer growth. We still want more population. Especially with our unique ability. Tradition is actually going to be pretty nice with our unique ability, which gives us bonuses with specialists. What was that bonus exactly? Yeah, specialists produce plus one production and consume one less food. So honestly, I think tradition was by far the best choice here. I wasn't convinced initially, but now I definitely am. It will at least give us a strong start. Okay, that's going to be a really nice city. Look at all the fish. Right here. We'll have three fish in range. So that makes this location next to the cow instead of on top of the cow clearly better, I think. Yeah, it sucks missing out on one natural wonder tile, but we'll gain horses and one fish. Seems like a superior choice, to be honest. Right, the granary for some growth. And calendar will be done soon. And then we'll get started on the ziggurats. Let's wait for the vulture. Now, I could declare war on Hong Kong and steal a worker, but there's no need, I don't think so. Yeah, there's definitely no need to do that. We already got one worker, we got good production. We can just make more workers. Move out of their territory. Okay then, and with the vulture we can get rid of, of the barbarian camp. And I'm going to keep my other vulture somewhere around here, to sure. keep at least some of the fog revealed. Here you go. Fortify. Okay then. Are you done? He will be done on the next turn. Alright, let's get rid of that Barbarian Brute. Yeah, do not attack with the Pathfinder. And that's going to be the city. Yep. Now, do we want to buy two tiles to start working the Great Barrier Reef ASAP? I think it's worth it. It will give us some science and culture. So, and we'll also buy fish while we're at it. Definitely worth it. Okay, let's get started on that right away. As for our production, a monument first, I would say, to make our borders expand faster. Granary is almost done, and then we'll get at least one more worker. Worker first, and then a second settler, I would say. Kill that guy. And we cleared the encampment for Belgrade. They also want us to connect horses to our network. We can definitely do that. Maybe after our borders expand a little bit. 
Yeah, 185 gold to buy that one. And then we would still need one more. That's probably a little bit too much, I would say. Just a little bit. Anyway, back to our capital. We should probably get that ziggurat first, actually. Even before a worker. Although, we have a lot of tiles to improve. Right, let's get the worker and then the ziggurat. Five more religions can still be founded. So nobody founded any religion yet. That's a good thing. But we need to try harder. Otherwise we will not get it. So, improve the other luxury. Up to free population already. Next. So, heal these guys up. And the Pathfinder will be pretty useless for now. Until we finish fishing. Hopefully there will be more land nearby. We need to find the actual main continents. I hope they won't be too far away. I guess we'll find out. How's our population now? Yeah, we are fifth now. Obviously we weren't going to be number one forever. Especially with the bonuses the AI gets. Temple of Artemis. What about other stats? Manufactured goods, seventh. Yeah, we need to find the AIs ASAP. I would normally get a settler right now, but since we want the religion, Ziggurat makes way more sense. And we'll send the second worker to our second city. And we got a new barbarian camp. Our Vulture can handle that. And we got a policy. That's going to be a ceremony. Palace and National Wonders with building requirements gain plus on happiness. Court Astrologer built in the capital. One scientist specialist plus free science. Council and herbalist provide plus one science in every city. And we will work that specialist right away. Obviously. Instead of the forest, I would say. Yep. Alright then. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this setup. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.